training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Nice kick. Yep. Fight behind a nice jab. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Great punch landing with so much power. <sighs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Got the hook in quickly. Missed on the right hand. Let's go! I want that overhand now. Back and forth we go. There's a kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Lee's shot is blocked. Missed with that right now. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, single collar tie now. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Switch kick lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. That kick blocked by Lee. Beautiful jab lands. Now touches him with the left. 
just over two minutes, round one. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Oh. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Big ground and pound. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Now he's going full mount. Making all these shots count. Oh, and he's back up again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Misses with the right hand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. Sidekick, well done. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. 15 seconds. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Round one. You lost that round. You're losing a fight. You need to get yourself back in it. Shake yourself up. You need to stand off that stool, ready to go out there and win. You're better than. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Oh, nice. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Oh! Oh! Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Push kick there to the body. Oh, 
he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now, a lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work, he opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, block that punch. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice defense. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Status that jab. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing with it. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfect. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Great punch. Let me see that hook now. 
And now Leather being thrown on both sides. He missed with that jab attempt there. A lot of blood now, and yes, the doctor is going to be called in. The referee pauses the action. His nose is absolutely mangled. It's smashed. He's huh. done a great job of smashing that nose, pushing it back. You see the blood coming down the face into the mouth, but it should not affect him being able to see his opponent in front of him. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and all right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will There's appreciate fight. that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's see how he deals with this bad cut. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination. The determination is, get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's going to be busy. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Ooh, big shot land. Nice defense there. Huge block. Looking to land the leg kick now. All right, so the cut is getting out of control. The corner doesn't seem to be in any great rush to throw in the towel, but you got to think we're going to get some referee involvement here soon. Well, we get to the stool. If we get to the stool, they're going to look at that cut and they're going to stop this fight. Because not anyone with a brain can look at that and know that this guy should not be in the fight anymore. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Nice leg kick. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes, and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Under a minute now to go. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying. But he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, oh big dive punch to the head. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Oh, stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round. And he heads back to the stool. And hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. You need to get out there and be aggressive. Don't be stupid. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Good work on the feet here, 
strike is blocked. Counter uppercut is not. Nice job there by Lee. Superman punch now. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Lee's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice hook lands. And that one certainly found the target. Head kick lands for this guy. Relax, relax. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Sidekick is there. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're gonna get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Tonight. Yeah, they are both. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. All right, so at this point, the ringside position would be well within his right to stop the fight as the referee calls for him once again. We get it. Toughness on full display, but this damage is too much. You gotta stop the fight. Yeah, and he wants to continue, but he will not be afforded that opportunity. So that is it. Fans don't like it, but the doctor has to protect the fighters. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC.